हेलो चिल्ड्रेन आई होप यू ऑल आर पिंक ऑफ योर हेल्थ चिल्ड्रेन आई एम प्रतिभा सोनावने आई एम ए टीचर एट गोखले एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज एच एल हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज इंग्लिश मीडियम चिल्ड्रेन यर आई एम पोस्टिंग स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट वीडियोज टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज इक्वेशन इन द फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव सॉल्व ऑलरेडी प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स यो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न यूनिट टेन इक्वेशन प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन When any of the following operations are carried out on an equation the equation remains balanced means left hand side and right hand side both sides must be balanced for that we are doing interchanging both the sides adding the same number to both the sides subtracting the same number from both the sides multiplying both the sides by the same number dividing both the sides by the same non zero number so let us start practice set number 27 children here total four questions are there let us see the first question the first question is write the following using a letter the sum of a certain number and 3 second one is the number obtained by subtracting 11 from another number the product of 15 and another number four times a number is 24 so let us see how to write it in equation form the sum of a certain number we'll put it as any letter we must have learned in fifth standard right so the sum of a certain number means we'll write it as x a any of the letter so the answer is x plus 3 the number obtained by subtracting 11 from another number that is we can write it as x minus 11 the product of 15 and another number is 15 into x or 15x 4 times a number is 24 that is 4x is equal to 24 let us see question number 2 find out which operation must be done on both sides of these equations in order to solve them means to find out the value of the letter what we should do so see the questions x plus 9 is equal to 11 x minus 4 is equal to 9 add x is equal to 24 and x upon 6 is equal to 3 children the first question is x plus 9 is equal to 11 for that we have to subtract 9 from both the side second question x minus 4 is equal to 9 for that adding 4 to both the sides number 3 is 8x is equal to 24 dividing both the sides by 8 next one is x upon 6 is equal to 3 multiplying both the sides by 6 so this is the answer note it down next question is a uh, table is given given below are some equations and the following of variables are these values the solution to the corresponding equation here in this table the first column is number then the equation then value of the variables are answer should be right in yes and no so here the four equations are given so 
is it the value of this variable let us see y minus 3 y is equal to 3 no answer is already given okay let us see 17 is equal to n plus 7 n is equal to 10 yes because here the both the sides have been subtracted by 7 so 17, 7, 17 minus 7 is equal to 10 means s n is equal to 10 children likewise in the next variables we will do the operations here the 30 is equal to 5x here what we will do we will divide the both the sides with 5 so the answer is x is equal to 6 so yes answer is yes fourth one is m upon 2 is equal to 14 so we will multiply both the sides with 2 so here the answer is given m is equal to 7 so the answer is no so what is the answer children here the m is equal to 28 so here we write no let us see the next question solve the following equations here eight questions are given see the first one is y minus 5 is equal to 1 so the number with the variable with the letter with the same number we will do the opposite operation with the same okay like uh, y minus 5 is equal to 1 means what we will do here we will add 5 with both the side adding 5 to both the sides the answer will be y plus 0 is equal to 6 it means y is equal to 6 next question is 8 is equal to t plus 5 so let us interchange both the sides we will write t plus 5 is equal to 8 so we will do the opposite operation with this given number that is t plus 5 plus 5 is given to the both side will subtract 5 subtracting 5 from both the sides the answer is t plus 0 is equal to 3 so the answer is t is equal to 3 no doubt the answer students the next question is 4x is equal to 52 here the 4 is given in multiple form so we'll do the opposite operation that is division so here 4x divided by 4 is equal to 52 divided by 4 so we'll cut 4 4 x is remaining and divide the 4 with 52 answer is 13 means x is equal to 13 next question is 19 is equal to m minus 4 here adding 4 to both the sides the answer is 23 is equal to m plus 0 it means m's value is 23 note down the answer students let us see the next question sixth one is x plus 10 is equal to 5 so what we'll do here subtracting 10 from both the sides so x value is equal to minus 5 seventh question is m minus 5 is equal to minus 12 so here minus 5 is there means we'll add 5 to the both the sides See the answer m is equal to minus 7. Eighth question is uh, p plus 4 is equal to minus 1. Here we will subtract 4 from both the sides. So the value of p is equal to minus 5. Let's move to another question. Now we will start word problems write the given information as an equation and find its solution number one is 
Haraba owned some ship. After selling 34 of them in the market, he still had 176 ship. How many ship did Harappa have uh, at first? See, let Harappa own X ship. After selling 34 ship, means previously he was having X number of ship, then he sold it, right? So, what we'll do here? We will subtract 34 from X. So, X minus 34. And he still had 176. So, we can write it as X minus 34 is equal to 176. So, let us solve the equation. What we will do here? We will add 34 to the both sides. Here, after the solution, X is equal to 210. Harabba had 210 ship at first. Let us see another question. Next question is, Sakshi prepared some jam at home and filled it in bottles. After giving away 7 of the bottles to her friends, she still has 12 for herself. How many bottles had she made in all? If she filled 250 grams of jam in each bottle, what was the total weight of the jam? she prepared let us see the answer sakshi so prepared jam and filled it in uh, let's take x bottles so total number of bottles will take as x she gave away seven bottles to her friends so x minus seven will be the variable here x minus seven bottles remain with her this is given to be 12 Right, means here we can write x minus 7 is equal to 12. x minus 7 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus 7. Here, adding 7 to both the sides. Now, we will get x is equal to 19. Sakshi so prepared jam and filled it in 19 bottles. Right. The weight of the jam in each bottle is 250 gram. So, to find out the total weight of jam, we have to multiply 250 gram with 19, 19 bottles. So, that will get the total weight of the jam. So, 250 gram multiplied by 19 bottles are equal to 4750 gram, which means 4.750 kg. So, the answer is 19 bottles and weight of the jam is 4.750 kg. Okay, children. Now, note down the answers first. Next question is, Achina bought some kilograms of wheat. She required 12 kg per month and she got enough wheat mild for 3 months. After that, she had 14 kg of wheat left. How much wheat had Archana bought altogether? Suppose Archana bought x kg of wheat. She used 12 multiplied by 3 means 36 kg of wheat flour. Means in 3 months, per month she is using 12. So, we are multiplying 12 with 3. So, it is equal to 36 kg. She had x minus 36 kg of wheat left. So, what we will do here? This given uh, that it is 14 kg. Means from total number of uh, kg wheat, subtract 36 is equal to 14. So, we form equation here. So, to the both side we will add 36. And here the value of x is 50. It means Archana bought 50 kg of wheat. children here we finish practice set number 27 see you in the next video 
Till that, stay home, stay safe. Thanks for watching the videos. Bye bye.